Hi, hi fans, Randy Ingersoll here with another Play Hive Like a Champion video. Attacking comes naturally to most new Hive players. Defending, on the other hand, is something that must be learned. This game in this video demonstrates a few basic defensive concepts. So let's get started. I'm playing white against Sturrock in an arena competition game at BoardGameArena.com. As always, for ease of review, I've played the game at BoardSpace.net, the best place on the internet for online hive playing with game review. Both players open with ladybugs, followed by queens, with black choosing a C opening. When I bring in my first ant, the black pill bug wastes no time in getting into the game. Good defense starts right at the beginning. Many top players open with either the ladybug or the grasshopper. Both of these bugs are excellent defenders. Not limited by the freedom to move rule, a good defender can vacate a kill space, making it more difficult for the attacker to finalize the attack. My mosquito follows, and when black plays an ant, I pin it. One of the most basic defensive concepts is pin your opponent's ants before they have a chance to attack. Pinning with the mosquito leaves both the mosquito and the ant with maximum movement. If I had chosen to pin with the ant, my mosquito would temporarily lose ant movement. Using an ant to pin an opposing mosquito when it's adjacent to pill bug can be a problem later on. Using the pill bug power, if the mosquito warps the ant away, the mosquito automatically inherits the ant's movement. But in this case, I self-pin the ant with my first beetle. When black brings in the final ant, I climb up with my beetle. As always, when the game is played with the pill bug, it becomes the center of attention. In order to qualify for the win, you must neutralize the opposing pill bug. The easiest way to do this, and the most common way to do this, is by using a beetle to cover either the queen or the defending pill bug. So at this point, as long as I can withstand the upcoming attack, I feel very confident because I have the first beetle atop the hive. When the ant attacks, black is now threatening to limit my pill bug placement. So it spawns in the only possible spot adjacent to my queen. Defensively, I'm always concerned about getting my pill bug in play next to my queen. In some cases, I'm overly concerned. This game might be one of those cases. In post-game analysis, this might have worked. Advancing my beetle, freeze an ant, and when the black ant attacks, eliminating spawn points for the pill bug, I bring in another ant. And when the beetles attack, I have enough ants to pin them before they can climb atop the hive. But what if Black had done this? Shifted his first ant to here, limiting my pill bug placement. I still think that I was obligated to bring in the pill bug when I did. Unfortunately, there's no way to keep the Black Beetle from climbing up. At this point, I'm in full defensive mode. If I can survive the attack, my counterattack will probably bring victory. But that is a big if. My defense continues by sliding my pill bug over. If not, the black beetle covers the pill bug and I'm doomed. Black attacks here first and takes the kill shot without my defending ladybug having a chance to jump out. Now if the beetle covers the pill bug, the queen has a chance to escape. And even though my queen would be abandoning the pill bug, I would still have excellent defensive chances because I would be dominating the ant game. Slightly better might have been attacking right away. 
This would force my hand with the defending ladybug. I pin another potential attacker, continuing to use my mobile ants to defend. When the black ant relieves the attack to pin one of my ants, I spawn a spider. Most players agree that the spider is the weakest piece in the hive, but that does not mean it's worthless. Joe Schultz coined the term ambiguous spider to define a spider that when it spawns can move in either of two directions and still effectively perform a function. One way it will pin this ant, less effective but still a concern, is moving the other way and pinning this ant, even though it's not mobile now, if a fill frees the ant, the spider would have it pinned. Black elects to cover the defending ladybug. With the black beetle covering the ladybug, this spot is open for a black spawn. The second white spider comes in to keep the black ant pinned in case either of these black bugs jump to here. Another key factor in defending is limiting your opponent's new bug placement. It's natural that the more powerful pieces, the ants and mosquitoes, enter the game early, leaving the less mobile grasshoppers and spiders in reserve. A good defender keeps an eye on the opposing reserve, always looking to reduce opportunities for new bugs to spawn with effective lines of attack. One might think that this ant shift to here is so the black grasshopper cannot pin it. And yes, that is a consideration. But more important point is the new bug placement here. If black spawns a bug, the new bug would pin the ladybug reducing her effectiveness as a defender. Now, the white ant stops that from happening. Note how the pill bug and ladybug work together. As long as the pill bug is not covered, if black were to attack either of the empty kill spaces, the pill bug warps the queen away. If black covers the pill bug, then the ladybug can vacate a kill space. And with the defense secured, the attack begins. With the black beetle no longer threatening a kill space, the white mosquito advances. White spider 2 blocks the black ant. The highly mobile white ant shifts its pin on the grasshopper and the other ant does the same. I continue my attack. And at this point, the white queen threatens to escape. Black must react. A good element of an effective defense is counting bugs and controlling the opponent's lines of attack. Note how black only needs two bugs to win. And with one of those bugs being a beetle already atop the hive, only one bug is actually needed. The only mobile black bugs not already filling kill spaces are the two spiders, and note how neither of them have a line of attack to my queen. When the black ladybug moves here, the mosquito covers the black spider. Not much can be done as the white attack closes out the game. Yes, a good defense can win as demonstrated here. As you master the basic hive techniques, your defense will improve and your win percentage will climb as well. I hope you enjoyed the game and the defensive pointers that came along with it. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this is Randy Ingersoll signing off.